What's up guys, Dr. Natty here from Myokinetics. So today I'm actually gonna go over three exercises you can do if you're training for marathon right now or you're actually just running a lot and you love running. And again, I love working with runners and I know you guys like to run. So I wanna keep you running for as long as you can. So some of the things I've seen, and you guys probably feel this, you've been running a long time, is that when you run a lot, you get this kind of knee pain right there, right? So in front of the knee, on the bottom of the knee, or you get calf pain or ankle pain right here. So some of the exercise I'm giving you right now, it will make sure that you actually strengthen those muscles. So you don't have to deal with these kind of nonsense stopping you from running. So if you guys ready, let's go for it. So first thing I'm gonna teach you is some single leg lunges, right? Some reverse lunges. So the reverse lunges, what's good is that it's gonna help actually strengthen your quads and your glutes back here, right? So this is the main driver when you actually propelling force, right? So first thing first, you don't need anything, it's body weight, so it's easy. You're gonna slowly step back. I wanna put 70% of the weight in the front leg, 30% of the weight in the back leg. You're gonna come down. And as you come down, you're gonna slowly come up and stand in one leg, right? Because this is the position you're in when you run. You're always on one leg. So you're gonna come back down again, come back up. The biggest cue I can give you with this one is when you come down, think about putting the weight in your back pocket. You see I have a slight lean and I drive up into the ground, right? Push into the ground, because that's how you run. Compel force, project force. So from there, boom, right? Because you guys are endurance athletes, you would need this at a higher volume. So I would say do four sets of 15 reps. Either you can do body weight, or you can use dumbbell or kettlebell you can hang on to, right? On both legs. Next exercise. This one is really gonna help the back of your knees or your calves, right? So again, when you run, you use your calves a lot to actually propel and push into the ground. This one, I'm actually gonna help you strengthen your calf and the little small muscle behind it called the soleus, which is extremely important because it helps you stabilize the back of your knee so you don't have that pain in the back of the knee, right? Super easy, you can do this at home. All you're gonna do is find a nice wall space and you're going to like a nice wall sit, right? The cool thing, and the one thing you need to pay attention to is that I don't want your back to come off of the wall. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna give me a little Michael Jackson while you're going up on your toes. And you're gonna come down nice and slow. And this one, I want you guys to do sets of 20 to 25. And I'm talking like three to four sets. I wanna feel a nice burn, right? And you see I keep it, my back's against the wall, I'm not coming off. So again, when I'm doing this, pushing into the ground the whole time. Great, this is something you can do at home, you don't need any equipment. Last exercise is I wanna address the muscle in front of your shin, right here. These guys, so this is your tibialis anterior. It helps you stabilize the front of your knee and also slowly control your foot down when you run. So you need that, so you know if your foot is not slapping into the ground. If you're an effective runner, you know that you don't wanna be on your heels when you run, right? So we wanna be on your midfoot, a little bit toesy, and this muscle is gonna help you do that. So all you're gonna do is stand against the wall, squeeze your quads right here, and all I'm gonna do is point my toes up, and I'm gonna bring it down nice and slow. So I wanted to feel this burn right here. And while you're here, just enjoy admiring your quads, and I want you to go three to four sets of 25, nice and slow. Again, these are small muscle guys, you're gonna get tired really, really fast. If you can do 25, do as much as you can and then rest. These are three exercises I can give you and I know it's gonna help you improve your time to keep you running the season. If you like this video, you find it helpful, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.